guys Chris with Nichols retirement empire today we are going to try something entirely new I've not done this before I'm gonna go offshore a little way not far just a few miles you know maybe maybe at the most five miles I think uh, I've marked some reefs that are public reefs on my uh, fish finder here on my hummingbird and I'm gonna try doing that style of fishing I have been offshore like on a party boat one time um, so that's my extent of offshore experience so watched up a few videos did a little reading try to see if I can kind of figure out what I'm doing and uh, we'll see what happens it's something new we'll see how I do well I haven't found anything to fish yet I'm on this uh, place that's marked it's supposed to have some fish um, tractors or whatever out here it's supposed to be a reef or whatever but I'm not running across what I want to see yet but there is a uh, cool sea turtle right here maybe it'll get close enough over here where you guys can see it well guys my ocean search out here on this reef has paid off big time with this sea bass make sure you can see him. This giant sea bass. Toadfish. Not what I wanted, but a fish. Give it all a close up of this one. Mother-in-law fish is what they call it. I don't know why. Can understand that. That's a little sea bass. These are pretty little fish if they get big enough you can eat them they're supposed to be really good to eat obviously this one's not big enough he attacked me well came out here a little deeper and i got a little bigger sea bass and i have a duck back here that dives under the water i think he's mad because i'm not throwing chum out like you'll throw chum out and they'll dive under the water and eat it so He's upset with me, but I'm not doing that, so. Another one. There's no size to them. But, at least I'm finding stuff on the graph and catching something. Maybe something else is down there. Leave. This is called a pig fish run or something Adios. Day. <laughs> GoPro stop recording. Ah. Now this is a little better. 
bigger and bigger. I don't know what the size limit on these things are. I mean, I don't know how much meat you'd get off that fish. <clears throat> well, welcome back. Welcome back, Paul. We got hey. a special guest. We got a stranger on the boat. Um, we are. I don't even know how to describe where we are right now. We're over here. We're. Uh, don't be that, telling everybody we're near where we're at. Yeah, we can't tell people where you're fishing. <laughs> of course, if we don't catch any fish, it don't matter. Yeah. But uh, we're we're near Cumberland Island, fishing in a creek mouth, and uh, going to see what happens today after yesterday's offshore excursion. Okay. That about made me sick uh, so next time I go out there I need to get some Dramamine or something I guess but anyway we'll see if we can get on some trout today yes sir and it's a beautiful day and we're doing something we never do we've gone crazy yeah we're fishing on a Saturday fishing on a Saturday man we're day. out here with the crowds today Paul has a huge trout well, there. Paul has a trout. Look how big that is. I mean, it looks big now, probably. I mean, <laughs> it's, we know the tricks. Yeah. Professional fisherman tricks. I mean, it's bigger than my bobber. <laughs> the action that we've been looking for. Finally. <laughs> After four oh, hours. This has been a day. A long, unproductive, weird, strange day. Smiley fish, sheep said. Not big enough to keep. You're gonna catch one too? Yeah. That why? No. Oh, yeah. Ouch! You see these little things here? <laughs> see that thing with a pincher? That yes. pinches you. Not very manly fall. It is not, it's like they don't like having a hook put in them. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. I mean, yep. you, put them, you hook them like this. <laughs> and then that pincher. It gets hold of you. And then see how they crawl like this? I'm just showing you your fans how they... Yeah. Because when you put them on the hooks, it's like they're alive. And they are alive, but, you know... It's like they're alive. It's like they're alive. And that's what catches the sheep's head. Got it. <laughs> My GoPro. It only listens to me now. Is tuned in to Paul's voice. Because while I was catching this fish, I kept begging. <laughs> The GoPro, GoPro, please, 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 come on. Please turn on. Get one in. And it would not. Would not and did not. Look. Mm, not GoPro, stop recording. Another sheep head. Another small one. Small. Okay, all right. At least something's. At least you're catching some fish. Something's going on. I don't know what I got. I'm pretty sure it's a trout. Not a big one, but just a trout. That's it. That's it. I'll probably back up just to see back up. Where Paul's going to buy it. Experimentation stuff. He's a little smaller, but it's a fish. I'm gonna turn up our nose. At him or any other fish. A little bitty one. <laughs> oh, I'm just 
Chris has put me on fish again in this secret double probation area. And I finally caught a keeper. Thank you very much, Chris. Yes, sir. All right. Chris is just two for two now with the Eight sheep head. Sheep head champion. Killer. Just like Paul, it's the trout killer. Not that we condone Kill. killing of any fish. Although we will kill any fish. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> but we don't condone Definitely. it. Before. There's a fisherman right Look there. At that. Look at that. I caught him upside down. Actually, the reason they do that is they get that hung around their all their fins. Yeah. A lot of times I'll bring them in and they're upside down, and people are probably thinking, how do you hook that fish upside down? Oh. Hmm. Paul was attacked by a bait. This has been perhaps the longest fish catch. He's had this fish hooked for like 15 minutes. <laughs> but he just started reeling it in about 30 seconds ago. But that's that's okay. It's a nice trout. fish. Yeah, they are. That's a good trout. Oh, that's the biggest one we caught today. Absolutely. Man, it's a good thing we waited. Yep. We were getting ready to leave. The only thing stopping us is we're not sure we can get out of the creek. <laughs> it's pretty shallow on the way out. That guy on the jet ski made it in here. Yeah. Over there. <laughs>